In this video, we're going to be adding some door material schedules. So let's switch from assembly to door, and let's go ahead and give it a name. And we're actually going to be doing two of these. So we're, our template is kind of cherry, like as our exposed material. So I'm going to, have to call it cherry, and I'm going to say five piece. Um, there's other words for this. You could say cherry five piece, or cherry solid, or cherry outsource, or whatever you want to use for um, what you would, you know, a solid wood door. Okay, so I'm going to just erase the description. And then as I build out this five piece one, I'll explain why we need to separate like our five piece and our slab edge banded doors. And this is familiar if you remember the last video with the cabinet material schedules, exact same idea. So let's look at the frame. We want all of these to be a hardwood three quarter cherry. So let's grab our solid cherry. And banding I don't need and molding I'm not going to worry about for right now. That's more of an advanced topic we can get into later. And panel, I'm going to do quarter inch cherry ply. And then for glass, um, even in the previous video, for the glass adjustable shelf, I didn't show you how to find that, but if you just search glass, there's a few stock materials. So you can, um, if you want to go back and assign glass to your cabinet schedule, you can do that now too, but uh, we'll put quarter inch glass for the glass panel. And then under horizontal slats, we want to go back to cherry. And the rest of these will actually be solid cherry, so I'm going to put that as my main category under panel. And so there's two big reasons why I need to separate my five-piece solid doors and my slab in-house edge-banded doors. Um, you know, if you're doing shaker doors with a slab door front, you know, a lot of times you want that slab to be solid. And the other reason is this banding checkbox has to be yes or no. Um, and obviously on a five piece door we don't want to band, but on a slab door we do want to band. So there's just those two differences make me required to add a second one. So let's copy this and we'll call this cherry and let's just call it slab. Um, there's, I'll let you guys decide what works best. Um, either cherry slab or cherry ply or cherry in-house um, whatever makes the most sense to you this is you know if you have a CNC this is your CNC cut slab doors with edge banding so I'm gonna use slab in my example but again I, I'm not too particular on exactly what that's called we copied from our five piece so some of this is gonna be the same let's put our cherry edge banding and some people get confused because they'll assign the cherry edge banding but it still doesn't show up and that's because this box also has to be checked so make sure you do both of those assign the material and check the box and then we're actually not going to have any frame parts on this one but I'm going to leave it as solid cherry um, you know the door setup is going to tell us whether or not to use the frame so it's okay it's not like it's going to automatically add a frame just because we assigned it here um, I'll leave molding blank again and then for the panel it's going to be using three quarter two-sided cherry plywood instead of solid. So our flat panel, if we would have one, which we really won't, we won't be utilizing flat panel on raised panels. So if it bugs you, you can just remove the material on these. You know, but like I said, it's not hurting anything because the way our doors are set up, it's not actually going to use those just because we assigned the material. So I'm going to leave mine in there. And now one other note, um, like on this five piece or solid door style, like a raised panel for a lot of people would probably be more like five eighth solid cherry. Um, I kind of just skimmed through it, um, but it, it would be very simple to go back to the material library, find three quarter solid cherry and right click and copy it. Just name it five eighth and change the size and come in and drop that in. Um, the point of me going through these videos is to put things in place, get to a point where I can show you my method for getting up and running quickly and then you have an understanding where everything's coming from um, so it it should be the point of these are to go through and then it becomes very doable for you to come back and be like oh yeah i could do this or i can do that to get what i need 